Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakwarash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit and their best, I'll call precepts, okay? But, um, you know, in light of everything that's been going on recently, okay, uh, with uh, Kanye West, Kyrie Irving, okay? Um, absolute beautiful times to be alive, man. Absolute beautiful times to be a prophet, okay? More than anything, okay? Why? Because first and foremost, uh, I believe that's in the book of Revelations, the eighth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Forgive me if I am. But um, it speaks about having the eye south, okay? The Lord supping with you and, you know, you know, basically giving you the understanding to see what is going on around you. And we see it clearly, okay? Now, whether uh, the intents are pure, okay, or the angle uh, Kanye West is coming from is, is genuine or not, Lord knows, okay? Lord knows, you know, our, our salvation, okay, in this ministry that we're a part of, uh, doesn't bank on what Kanye West says or does, man. Okay? But when, you know, speaking as a man, sitting back looking at it and peeling back the layers, okay, it seems like this guy is, uh, has been bought out. Okay? And I may be wrong, but I'm just, like I said, I'm speaking as a man. Okay? Because on one side, out of one side of his mouth, he's, he's, uh, you know, saying some truths, okay? Speaking out against the, the elites, okay? But then on the other side, he's marketing and promoting a cryptocurrency on Fox News, okay? The beloved brother Samark hit me to it and said, yeah, he was on Fox News wearing a Satoshi hat. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's peculiar. If you're totally against the conglomerate and the system, then you should be against uh, uh, the Satoshi, okay? Which is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a, a, a branch off or a version of, of cryptocurrency, okay? But here he is on Fox News advertising it, okay? And like the beloved brother Samak said, he believes uh, he believes he's going to be. Uh, they're going to use him. Uh, to get Jake to be hook, line, and sinker with the with the cryptocurrency, okay? And who will who else better to use, you know? But nonetheless, what's happening? Whether Kanye West is really, a, uh, uh, you know, standing firm about what he's saying, or if um, you know, he's bought out. Nonetheless, what he's doing is bringing attention to the truth. You see. And brothers have been saying it, man. Hey, brothers, get ready to deal with, with, with uh, multitudes, okay? Um, not sure how many. You know, of course, brother is not going to uh, say how many <laughs> multitudes, but, okay, people going to start asking questions. And another brother also said, look, man, you know, to hell with the headlines. Read those comments, okay? Read the comments under these posts. And there are a lot of people, there are a lot of people who uh, who are side with Kanye West, man. Okay, and, and saying, yeah, you're right, Kanye, they're not the true people. Okay, we are, this, that, and the third. You see? So, you know, on one, one hand, whether he's a phony or not, he's gonna bring attention to it, okay? And then, and another thing we've been blessed with is understanding our enemy, man and seeing how he moves, okay? Especially when we pretty much exposed him, 
Okay, we were speaking about this at camp. Um, that uh, he's being exposed, his skirt is being lifted. He's being made bare, okay? Right before the Lord destroys him. So now at this point, he's reacting, okay? And guess what? We saw this coming. We The scriptures tell us that persecution was coming, okay? He was gonna point the finger at us, you know? And, and, and accuse of, of this and accuse of that due to deep faith, you know, actually putting words in our mouth. Okay, and that's why the scripture tell us, uh, uh, tell you to what? To count the cost. Okay, and what are you counting the cost of? You're counting the cost of being a truth sayer, man. Okay, the scripture tell you what? When you uh, uh, turn from uh, unrighteousness or turn from wickedness, you make yourself a prey. Why? Because this, the world around us is wicked. Okay, and then the powers that be, okay, they're, they're uh, uh, you know, they represent the, the very fabric of what wickedness is, okay, and this is their kingdom. So they're not gonna they're not gonna settle for uh, 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 and they know exactly who we are. They know we're the children of Israel, okay. Like uh, we always say, to uh, tell a lie, you have to know the truth, okay. So they absolutely know the truth, and that's why when God speak out against them, they receive major flack, okay. <laughs> Because, hey, what's what's the remedy for a lie? The truth. See? So, whether, whether uh, we can pinpoint Kanye West's intent, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Then you got Kyrie Irving, who, uh, you know, is speaking out, you know, and he's, he's out in left field somewhere. But what I can give him credit for is that they're standing up against, uh, uh, against the conglomerate, man. You know, now he did mention Yahweh, and, you know, that his name uh, is is equivalent or the equivalent, the, the value uh, to Yahweh. But hey, Yahweh ain't the name. OK, and unless he uh, repent and turn to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, he has no cover. OK, and who knows? He can be set up too. Lord knows, you know, but the reality is we don't care. And, and what he's doing okay uh if it has any effect on us it's gonna be in a good way okay because what's gonna happen is uh and, and what i perceive you know as a man speaking as a man what i perceive is that okay even uh with, with kanye west uh scenario situation that uh they're gonna use that uh you know to make the truth hate speech okay because a brother uh beloved brother uh, uh, the deacon of our camp, uh, the brother Shamar Moff, basically was telling us, hey, be careful with, uh, you know, talking about the you know who's, okay? And I gotta say it like that nowadays, you, the you know who's, okay? The, the, uh, the bruise, the bruise, not Jews, okay? You gotta be careful because they've just said that uh, if you say anything about them being the conglomerate or, or being in power and they control everything, that you can, it could be labeled hate speech, okay, which can be punishable by uh, 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 by imprisonment, you know. But nonetheless, like I said, man, this is a great time to be a prophet, great time to be alive, great time to be in the spirit and, and, and the power of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Why? Because now uh, the chess match, and really the chess match begins since the beginning of time, but now we see the the the, uh, the manifestation of it, man, and you know, it, 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 what I'm smelling from it is the, uh, the famine of the word is, is rapidly approaching, okay, which also is a great thing, okay, because like I mentioned in the show, me and the beloved brother Ramak Yum Young did, like, we don't want to preach forever, we don't, we love to do it, okay, it's what the Lord called us to do, but eventually we want to take hold to the promises, we want to you know, <laughs> we want to get out of these defiled bodies, man. You see? So every aspect of what's going on is good news. It's great news. Okay? Now, whether this thing dies down or picks back up, hey, we got that eye salve. We see what is happening. Okay? We see what is happening. And the scriptures tell us what the Most High hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of a sound mind. 
And that's why brothers are not losing sleep behind this. Okay? Pops was telling me about a scenario that he thinks they, they might try to do and you know, just for the sake of, you know, uh, being prudent, you know, um, I won't really, I, I, you know, I won't really say exactly what he said. Okay, but basically, you know, doing things that are, uh, uh, that speak down against you know who, okay? And blaming it on us, okay? But like I mentioned earlier, count the cost. You gotta understand what you're part of and know uh, that we're fighting against the powers that be, okay? Like it says in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, against principalities, you know, the leaders of wickedness in high places, okay? And they have dominion. And they see what we're doing and they're getting pissed. Okay, why? Because they, they're all about, they pride themselves in secrecy. But guess what? Your secrets are being revealed. And not only are, are they being revealed, okay, because the, most of their secrets are be, be, being revealed by their own kind. You see? And then what do we do? We take those secrets, okay? And, um, you know, filter them through the scriptures just to show the validity of what they're doing. And it's, and it's bugging them out. It's bugging them out. How the hell these guys, you know, that, that, that are, uh, are living paycheck to paycheck, that really, uh, you know, just out of nowhere, um, started hanging with each other. Okay, because that's another miracle. I mentioned that also. That's another miracle, man. Brothers really don't know each other like that. Okay, but guess what? I laying their, our lives down for one another week in and week out and have fervent love towards one another which shows what the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah is working man the Ezekiel 37 is taking place right now okay and we have the breath so it's been happening okay going all the way back to the 60s okay we stood upon our feet okay going back to our elders elders you know and then the the, the doctrine got uh, perfected Okay, we fully have the breath of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and this kingdom is coming down. Okay, and it's being prepared for the Lord to come back in His power, okay, in His glory, and fully take this bitch down, man. You see, and that's the reason why it's it's, it's great it's great to be uh, in the spirit, man, and great to be a prophet, and just great to be in the know. And when I say in the know, meaning understanding what's going on in the world according to prophecy and according to the scriptures, okay? So yeah, brothers, hey, we all knew it. It's things gonna get choppy and dicey and testy, okay? We knew that. So let's do the things that are conducive to build our spirits up so that we're, we're prepared. And really, what is it? Our favorite precept, Isaiah 33 and six. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and strength of salvation you see so we got the tools we got the keys we see what's going on okay so let's stay prayed up brothers so i believe i hit the point of lord willing that was edifying with that i say shalom